Hello and welcome my beautiful friends today to a new pole workout video and today we're actually going to be working with the pole <laughs> so this is going to be a really nice change if you have a pole at home this is perfect for you um, otherwise go ahead and check out the other workout videos that I've done I've got like for the arms I've got for the um, belly for the abs of the pole so just go ahead check it out but yeah, today this one is going to be super awesome, it's going to be for the arm, it's going to be for the core um, and a little bit for the legs, so it's like a full body workout on the pole and I would say we will get straight into it, there's a hair and we will start with the warm up so what we're going to do is we're going to do 15 jumping jacks and I want you to extend all the way over point your feet a little bit outward and go into like a little bend position here and then we'll come into four burpees, but don't worry, we're only going to be doing half burpees. So you're going to come down into a plank and then jump up. All right, 15 jumping jacks, four um, half burpees times three. And then we should be warm enough to get started on the actual workout, all right? So I want you to just do it in your own tempo. I'm going to do it with you. And then once we're done, we can start, all right? I'm not gonna go full in, so you have a bit more time, but if you want to go all in, just go ahead. All right, here we go. We'll start in three, two, one. 15 burpees. Once you're done, go ahead into the burpees. When you're done, get back into the jumping jacks. 15. Burpees. And once more burpees. Um, jumping jacks. Alright. Burpees, the last four. Brilliant. Give yourself a little bit of time to reset to breathe and I will explain to you what we will be doing today. Whew. I also need some time. <laughs> today I prepared two rounds for you and they're kind of similar but also kind of different. So the first round will be a little bit easier probably and then the second round will be a bit more difficult. So if you want to do the first variation you can definitely go ahead and do that, but I'm gonna explain it um, while we're going through. And today it's not about timer, uh, we're just gonna go for reps, all right? So the first 10 exercises, we will start now. And the first one of that is a pole squat. And we'll do the narrow variation for this one. So I want you to get at the side of your pole and you want to have your feet hip width apart and you are on your tippy toes. Now you can grab your pole behind you any way you like, doesn't really matter too much and your weight is going to be back at the pole with your booty at the pole as well. So your feet are a little bit um, further away from the pole. What we're going to do, we're just going to squat down and then come back up. Again, if you want to hold on to your pole, you can do that. Alright, let's get into it. We're going to do 15 of those. Get on the pole. Let's get started.
when you're done with your 15, again, take your time. No rush here. I'm going to give you a little bit of a break. But when you're done with your 15, come to the right side of your pole, because now we're going to work our right side, our right leg. And we'll do just simple back extensions. So you can hold on to your pole. You can have a slight bend in your front leg. And I don't want you to kick up, but I really want you to use your glute strength here. So really already be here, toes are off the floor, and we're gonna lift again for 15 times. Really use your lower back muscles and your glute muscles. Squeeze when you're on top, all right? Here we go for 15. done stay on the same side we're gonna still be working that right leg this time we'll move up to the quads and to your core so instead of a back extension we'll do a front extension also for 15 here don't use the momentum try to really engage your core try to engage your um, quad here to really bring your knee or your leg as high as possible I know it's hard but try to squeeze your abs here you can again Hold on to the pole and let's go for 15. One more, perfect, shake it out, give your quad a little <laughs> love, a little beating. All right, the next one, we're gonna go down on the floor and we'll get a little bit into the invert crunch preparation. So again, on your right side, you have the pole on your right side, you want to bring your right hand across the pole so you are in basically a stronghold grip here, grab at chin height, and the other hand is going to come next to it as well. Now what we want to do, so basically we want to stay here. This is easier. If this is too easy for you, you can come down all the way to the floor and hold on like that. All right, I'm going to do it like that because I'm advanced. <laughs> no, because I want to really show it to you. So yeah, you want to stay here. And now what you want to do is you want to bring your knees up and like over your shoulders. So this is gonna prepare you for the crunch that you want to have once you start inverting, all right? Let's do 15 of those as well. Here we go. Try to really use your core, not too much with your arms. you to be with your shoulder with one shoulder so choose if you want to right or the left shoulder now against the pole and then as in the shoulder mount I want you to grab the pole so 
palms are up and you reach, 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 reach until you get to the pole. So the thumbs are facing down as in a real shoulder mount. All right? Now I want you to be here and squeeze your elbows together just in a real shoulder mount, okay? So that we already get used to it. And now I want you to bring your knees up and then down, up and down. And here also, the further up you are, so this is easier. If you want to have it harder, go down a little bit. And I'll just do the same here. And fully extend. This is also like a reverse crunch for your abs. Let's get into it. Choose the height you want to be at and let's go for 50. Here we go. One more. Awesome. Take a break. Whew. All right. We'll get on the pole. We'll get climbing a little bit. Um, if you have sweaty hands, just go ahead and wipe down your pole. Because now we want to hold on. All right. Now it's going to be for the shoulders, for your arms, for your hands. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab high on your pole, feet up, and then just slide down very slowly, okay? So this is going to train the stability. I really want you to pull the shoulders down, so I don't want to see stuff like that. But really try to pull your shoulders down, shoulders away from your ears, all right? Um, did I put anything else? No. Okay, we're just gonna hold for like three seconds and then slide down. And we'll do that for ten times, alright? Here we go. Grab high. Shoulders away from your ears. Bend your legs. Three, two, one. Slowly slide down. And get up. Always change the hand that's on top. Grab high. Shoulders down. Up, three, two, one, slide down. Awesome. Get back up. Shoulders down, three, two, one, and slide down. That's number three. Do the rest in your own tempo. When you're done with your ten, shake it out. I know this can be a bit hard for your hands. You can stretch them out. Give them a little bit of a break. All right, we'll come into another grip-heavy exercise, but it's a fun one. So wipe down your pull. Grab anything you need. 
and then we'll come into flutter kicks with the, um, the split grip. If you haven't done that one before, <laughs> it's rather simple. So the upper hand grabs like that, just if you would grab a bottle of water, add a little bit, I like height, eye height. And the other one grabs like that. So palm is facing forward and fingertips are down. So the right hand for me grabs up and the left hand grabs down. So what I want you to do is to pull with the upper hand down and push with the lower hand away. So you get this little opposition here so that you can like bring yourself up and hold yourself for a second. Don't, row, don't worry too much. And I want you to do is to just do flutter kicks like that. All right. So if you have to like jump a little bit, that's all right. But I really want you to try to focus on pushing and pulling. All right. We will do 20. So 10 on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. hard after the one we just did because of the grip, all right? But don't worry, you'll get stronger as um, more often you will do these exercises. All right, what is the next one? We do a climbing squat, but on the floor. If you know how to climb, that's perfect. If not, that's all right as well because we're here to learn, right? So one foot is in front, you hook, with your um, with your heel, but because we're on the floor, we're gonna just step. So we here, one foot is in front, and the other one is crossing behind. So you have the pole here. I hope you can see this correctly. And then I want you to squeeze your knees together, so you're really holding yourself here. See if you have to adjust the feet. Doesn't matter too much here, but I really want you to squeeze. All right, and then from here. You can hold on or not hold on. You just want to sit back and then come back up. Right? We will do this for 15 times. And pay attention what foot you have in front because the next time we will switch. All right, here we go. For 15, let's go. exercises for this first whole pod. <sighs> Plank is next. Really good exercise for your shoulders, for your core. And this time we're going to do a pole plank. I don't know if you've ever done that one, but it's really fun. Also here there are a couple options. So I want you to come into a plank and then you want to hold on with your both hands on the pole. Same in the plank. Have a steady core, booty is down, and then you want to step, and step, and step, and step. All right, we'll do that for 20 times. If that's too much, you can come into a plank and just tap the pole like that. All right, these two options. The first one where you hold on is heavier, of course, and the other one is easier. All right, let's Get into it. Get into your plank, whichever you choose. Your core is steady, your arms are strong, shoulders are pushed back, and nothing is moving except for your hands, all right? Here we go for 20. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay strong, eight, nine, ten, ten more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, slowly come down, shake it out, last one. Here we go, this is gonna be a push-up, but it's gonna be a pull push-up, so it's not gonna be too hard. You want to come at your pole, and now we wanna push the thumbs down. So you're holding like that, and then you want to push like that against the pole. Also here, couple options. It's easiest when you're high as possible and your hands are chest height. So when you hear it's rather simple, and the farther you come down, the harder it will get. So just try and see where the best distance is for you, okay? We will do 15 here. This is really tricep heavy. So if you need a break, shake it out and get back to it. It's all your workout. You can do whatever you want. You can do however much you like, okay? But stay with me. Ready? For 15. Again, thumbs are down against the pole. And here we go for 15. Shake it out, you get a little bit of a break before we move on into the next 10 exercises. Make sure to wipe your paw down, grab some dry hands, grab some water if you need to, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. Are you ready? Are you ready to take on the second pool of exercises? They're gonna be similar, but also a little bit different. <laughs> we will start with a squat exercise again. And remember, before we did the narrow squat, so now I want you to do the wide squat. So it's more than hip width apart. Also here on your tippy toes, and then come down and back up. And you want to get to like 90 degrees here. So this is really working the outside of your booty as well. <laughs> Again for 15. Are you ready? Set yourself up against the pole. The weight is all the way back. Your feet are pointed outward. Try to not have an arch in your back, but you really pull your tailbone under. Come onto your tippy toes. Again, you can hold onto your pole or not. It doesn't really matter. And then we'll the squat down for 15 and come up pressing through your legs and your booty. All right, here we go. Shake it out. 
This is really heavy for the quads. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the back extension with the other side. So before we did it on the right side, remember? Now I wanna do it on the left side. Yeah? Just for 15. Can you still see me here? I think you can. All right, for 15, again, you can have a slight bend in your front leg and then come over and don't use the momentum, but rather just slightly kick it up. All right, for 15, here we go, your own tempo. Once you're done with your 15, come to the left side of your pole, the right hand is holding on, because now we're gonna do the front extension or the front lifts with your left side. I give you a second to rest, to come into the position. Once you're done, again here, not with momentum, but really just through the strength of your core and your quad, all right? Here we go, again, for 15. Shake it out, you're doing great so far. We'll come into the invert prep crunch. So the last time I was holding on with my right hand, so now I want you to hold on with your left arm or with the one that you did before. Again, here as before, this one is easier, but if you want to have a real experience, then I want you to come down to the floor, hold on with your left hand, grabbing, facing like you, facing the thumb. And then the right hand is just going to come on top and then I want you to crunch up, really bringing your pelvis up and over. So this is really going to prepare you for when you're on the pole and you want to do your invert. Here we go. We'll do this for 15 and always extend your legs if it's possible. If not, just tap your toes on the floor. Here we go for 15. give you a little bit of time to rest the next exercise if you remember is gonna be the shoulder mount prep so the last time I was using my left shoulder so now I'm gonna use my right shoulder grab around the pole so that your palms are facing the pole and the thumbs are facing down then slide them down towards your ear and bring your elbows together again it's easier if you're sitting straight I want you to come down a little bit further if you feel like this is too easy. <laughs> and then I really want you to get this momentum, this, this, um, this strength of already pushing with your hands so that your upper body, your chest comes up, all right? And then we're gonna do bicycle crunches here. So you're here and then we're just gonna do like one, two, three. And we're gonna do 30, so it's 15, on each side and at the same time I want you to pull up. All right, here we go for 30. One, two, three, four. Thirty. 
ready. Whew. Come up, you're doing such a great job. This is not easy. All right, take your time to get some water to wipe down your pole because now we will do an exercise to hold on to the pole. We're gonna do three um, sets and I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do, all right? So as before, I want you to hold on, but instead of bringing the knees up, I want you to just tap. All right? If you can, I want you to hold on and like not have your feet on the floor, but you just tap. If it's too hard, you can always just like step. All right, but try to push or like pull as much weight away from the floor as possible. We'll do 20 for three sets. All right, ready? Get ready, get on the pole, grab high. Again, shoulders are down. Really engage the shoulder blades, so press them together. Reach up high and pull yourself away from the floor and we'll do 20 taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If you need to regrab, you just saw I also need to regrab. Completely fine. Shake it out. And we'll do that two more times. Such a good workout. Such a good exercise. <sighs> All right. Bring the other hand on top so we have the same shoulder balance right here. And get ready, pull your shoulders down, and we will tap for 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Regrab. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. Once more, once more, guys. We're almost through. One last time, again, change the hand that is on top. Grab high, pull your shoulders down, and we'll tap for 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm really sliding here. <laughs> All right, the next one, wipe your pole down. We're gonna come into the split grip again. Now, do you remember which hand was on top? My right hand was on top. So now I want you to have your left hand on top, which is gonna pull down and the right hand down. So with the fingers facing down, and this one is gonna push. All right, so the last time, remember, we did the little taps right here. So now what I want you to do is to stay here, really squeeze and push and pull down, and then just go out and in. All right, if this is too hard, you can just like step and try how much you can um, lift yourself away from the floor, all right? But for the rest, we're just gonna do 20 um, in and out, all right? I'll count the first ones and then you just go in your own um, own speed. Here we go. Get ready. Grab high. Grab low. Create this opposition of like a drag and pull. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can always re grab. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Awesome. Shake it out. I know after the last exercise, this one is really grip, grip heavy. Don't worry, you will get stronger like that. All right, we will do a climb. Do you remember before we did it here on the floor? You can still do that, but you can also go up one step. So instead of just being on the floor, you can climb here, squeeze, and then just go up, 
and go down. Go up and go down. All right. So choose your poison and then we'll do 15 right here. Ready? Let's get started. Do it in your own tempo, but I want you to do 15. You can take breaks, no worries. You can do 10 up, 5 low, whatever you want, but do 15. When you're up, try to really straighten your feet as well. Point your feet. Take your time, take your time. We've got two more exercises left for our upper body. I'll give you some more time to reset. And then when you're done, come onto your knees we'll get into a plank. Again here, if you want to do the plank on your pole, you can do that. If you want to do a regular plank, you can do that as well. And this time we're not going to move our hands, but this time we'll move our legs in and out. All right? Take a deep breath. <laughs> All right. Once you're ready, come into a plank, stay here, or grab your pull. Remember to really squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, belly button is in. And now we're gonna move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, do 10 more. And come down. Whew. Shake it out. One more exercise and then we're done. Put down your pole. If you need to, it's going to be one last holding challenge. All right. Either I want you to climb up the pole, grab around your chest, and then hold here. If you don't want to climb, you can hop a little bit and hold here or also just come up onto your tippy toes, grab and hold here, okay? And I want you to hold for 10 seconds and we'll also do this three times. Little conditioning at the end is always good, all right? Pick your poison, do what you want, but let's get into it. All right, prepare, and I'm gonna count. Get ready, grab, and hang for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, shoulder down, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down. Perfect, perfect. You're doing so great. Once more, get straight away into it. Grab wherever you are. And here we go. Shoulders are back down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, slowly come down, shake it out, once more, and then you're all done. All right, pick the level you want to go on, climb or grab, hold on in front of your chest, and here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down and release. All right, fold over. Give yourself a stretch here. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Start walking on your spot. Send one leg back, come into a triangle. Just fold over. Interlace your fingers behind your body, behind your back, and just let it drop. Bring your hands to your hips, release, step with the leg to the front, send the other leg back, melt over that front leg. Awesome, grab onto your pole, come into this box position, head is between your shoulders and let gravity do its work. Round your spine, grab with the other hand on top and let yourself fall back down. Giving the shoulders a stretch. Round your spine, come up. Shake it out. Thank you so much for doing this workout with me. Let me know if you want to have some more pole workouts, what you liked, what you didn't like, and what else you want to see here. And I will make sure to make this happen because this is so much fun for me as well. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for doing this workout with me. Hope you liked it, hope you have a really nice day. See you soon here on my channel. Love you guys.